Good morning. Uh, I'm in uh, I'm in Arizona. I'm in uh, Bisbee Douglas uh, Airport, and we're gonna fly over to uh, Sierra Vista, and uh, where Fort Huachuca is. It's gonna be uh, not too long a flight. Uh, so uh, last week I was flying in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And, uh, and I spent the uh, the week basically trying to figure out how to get VR to work in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, I could not get my uh, my new HP Reverb G2. I could not get it to work where it went stutter. Um, so I went to my Valve Index and uh, and I used that instead. And then the end, the last couple of days, uh, like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Um, I was able to, uh, to get it to work reasonably well. So I, I was pretty happy when I got all done. Uh, so I'm basically going to uh, recreate the same flights in X-Plane. Um, I have, uh, created, uh, Ortho for XP tiles, uh, for the areas that I'm going to fly to. And in the areas where, um, the airports are I have increased the um uh the uh, the the tile number I I've, I've increased it so generally my tiles are 16 and around the airport so right in the middle of the airport there'll be 19 a little bit out is 18 a little bit further out is 17 so I've done that to every airport that I'm going to fly to so um uh, uh, so right now I am flying with uh, my, my VR headset is uh, an NH is uh, an HP Reverb G2, and I am using Valve Index controllers with it. And uh, so I use my lighthouses to uh, to make my controllers work. And uh, so far, all of that is seemingly working quite well. Uh, I'm also using um, uh, the uh, the reality expansion pack uh, for the default Cessna so uh, it makes the uh, aircraft uh, more more accurate less forgiving so in other words if I don't allow the engine to warm up uh, after I get it started and try to take off I'll probably have a bad experience so we need to uh, get the plane started and uh, and kind of go on for there uh, so a couple other gadgets I have. This program here is Avatab. So Avatab is like having a having an electronic tablet in your cockpit. So right now I have the information for Douglas. I can go over here and click on Maps, and I have the sectional for uh, for this area. I have the sectional chart there. So so it allows me to do. Uh, it allows me to have a lot of the information that I normally would have in, would have in a real airplane in a VR cockpit, and uh, it is um, it'd be great if we could get something like that in Microsoft Flight Simulator. We have some limited limited versions of that, but nothing as complete as this is. You can put PDFs in here. You can put text files in here. You can put maps. And also, it also allows you to um, use, uh, let me get here, over here on providers. So there's two different providers we can have. We can have Navigraph or we can have Chartbox. And uh, I've picked Chartbox because I don't have a Navigraph subscription. So it, it allows, it will pull charts uh, from um, from that provider, so so let me look here. Okay. So let me first off get the plane started, and we'll kind of like go from there. So. So I'm using this program here. It's called X Checklist. So I'm going to go next. And uh, see if we can find the top of it.
There it is. For some reason I couldn't find this bar. Next, there it is. Okay, breaks. Oh. Hmm. That's not good. For some reason, the check boxes aren't working. I'm not so sure why. I never checked this part with, um... Hmm. No. Nope. We will not worry about that right now. Oh, make sure that's on, that's on both. I'll just use it as a checklist. Uh, circuit breakers are in. Beacon is on. Avionic switch is off. Master switch is on. Throttle open quarter inch. Mixture at idle cut off. Turn the... Uh, I'll get some fuel flow. Should be good enough. Clear prop! It's going to want me to be at about a thousand RPM. Hmm. Oh well. Let me go ahead and hide that. I'll, uh, troubleshoot that later. This B. Douglas International Information Kilo, 1430 Zulu. Local weather not available. Weather at Sierra Vista Municipal Libby AAF is winds are light and variable. Skies clear. Temperature 6, dew point minus 10. Current altimeter is 3004. Arriving and departing runway 35. Miss B. Douglas International Information Kilo, 1430 Zulu. Local. Alrighty, so we wait a little bit here. Um, it looks like my flight plan's in there. That's cool. I generally won't use it, but um, I'll kind of watch it and uh, to see uh, how we're uh, how we're progressing and uh, to kind of make sure that I'm. Uh, on uh, on track here, so so let's see. Uh, see if I got this working. Just a couple of seconds here. My uh, push to talk for pilot ATC is not working. 
So evidently I don't have it quite configured right. So we'll uh, we'll be right back. For some reason, I had it disabled. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, well. That's life. So, if I push down on the... Uh, there we go. Say weather. Say weather. Stay active, we're on way. Well, this isn't starting off too well. Say weather. Okay. More things are troubleshoot. But uh, we're not really going to worry about that. One more thing to worry about after I do my flight. But. Uh, what it should have done is, uh, over in here, it should have, uh, trying to, trying to think if there's anything else I'm missing. I don't see it. Stay active, runway. So, what else could be wrong? Check.
Alright, so what I think is going on is for some reason the mic is not set up to uh, work with this and uh, because of that uh, it's not going to listen to me. So, what runway are we on? This B Douglas International Information Kilo, 1430 Zulu. Local weather not available. Weather at Sierra Vista Municipal Libby AAF is winds are light and variable. Skies clear. Temperature 6, dew point minus 10. Current altimeter is 3004. Arriving and departing runway 35. This B Douglas International Information Kilo, 1430s. Alrighty, we got the airplane warmed up, uh, so we're gonna go to uh we're gonna take off on runway 35. 33, 34, 35. So all I gotta do is uh, see if I can go find the runway. So we're gonna release the uh, parking brake. Do a little bit of fuel. Find a taxiway there. Our parking spot. too well marked here so uh, this will be a little bit entertaining could be going the wrong way but uh, they, hey you never know that uh, I am uh, I basically got the engine idle down and um, it is um, I'm running too low of RPM so I'm uh, starting to foul the plugs so I basically pulled the mixture back and uh, that's kind of cool there's a tree in the runway. <laughs> For Arizona, that's seriously funny. There's not a lot of trees in Arizona. And to have one in a runway is even funnier. Well, hopefully it won't clip my wing. So... Another one. That's hilarious. Well, it kind of looks like I'm going the right way because I, I dialed my heading indicator to 3.5. Uh, and 3.5 is kind of that way. So I could be completely backwards. But I'm thinking when I turn up here, I'll be, uh, I'll be lined up for 3.5. We'll see how it goes. I see there was a couple of things I should have checked that uh, I would have thought would have worked and uh, that I just assumed would have worked. I think it's the right way to put this, but they didn't. Okay, that's a little sad. That's the first uh, marker I have. Okay, three, five. Alrighty, since I don't have any ATC, I'm kind of on my own here, so we'll uh, kind of taxi over to the runway.
I got my RPM up, I can shut my mixture all the way in, so I'll have full power here on takeoff. Alrighty, 3-5. Off we go. Looks like we got 
22 minutes to go. I'm gonna 
I should level up at 6,500, but I'm going to let it climb until I crest this ridge. And uh, just to be short. Sure. I'm on track, so the uh, Sierra Vista has to be on the other side of this uh, ridge here. Different flowing than what I do back home. Back home, I live on uh, about five miles off the uh, off the coast of Lake Erie. So my home airport, K E R I, is uh, 723 feet. Right now, I'm at uh, about 7,700 feet. So I'm almost 10 times higher than back home. <laughs> kind of funny. Definitely can see the difference in uh, whoops. Uh, see the difference in detail in these mountains between uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator and X Plane. It is that part is pretty pronounced. All right, I know I can get over here, so I'm gonna shove the nose down a little bit, trim, try to get level right here. I'm gonna go down a little bit. I'm easily going to make these mountains. So we're 23 miles away and uh, looks like 15 minutes. So this is a good starter flight. Uh, allowed me to like do some testing, find out what was a failure, and uh, kind of along for there. So if, uh, if I remember correctly, Sierra uh, Puerto Huachuca is basically right up against those mountains out in front of us, and Sierra Vista is closer to us than that. So that's kind of where the uh, where the airport's going to end up. So I do have the information for uh, the weather for Sierra Vista. So once I get across here. like to descend. <laughs> Com one one three four point seven five. Of course. 
that's, that isn't working either. It's right out in front of me. So, what do you want to do, Bill? I really don't want to do a straight in approach. I want to get close enough, I'll, uh, I'll do a base. You can't tell anybody because everything I have to tell everybody with, it's not working. <laughs> uh, oh, well. Of life. So some of the detail here in X-Plane is actually not too bad, so. So I'm trying to be to the, uh, I can see those runways up there. And I know I'm lined up because I put my heading indicator, uh, my heading indicator to match the runway. So, so what I'm going to do is try to be to the left. And when I get closer, probably, probably five miles. So at five miles, I'm going to make a right-hand turn. And uh, so 
So that will be a base leg for for this runway, and uh, and then I'll turn the final. But all in all, it hasn't went too badly. So I'm close enough now that I can uh, get to pattern altitude. I'm uh, I'm under 10 miles out, so I'll pull back to power and uh, try to get down to 6,000 feet. So I'm pretty happy that I can see the runways that far apart, that far away. That's, um, I wish that X-plane was a little, it was a little more difficult to do that, but I was always judging that on, on airports that I had been to, uh, in X-plane. And in this case, I have not been to this airport, so, uh, in, in X-plane. I have been in Microsoft Flight Simulator, so. I'm closing up here. Go ahead and make a right turn here. I'm trying to get that heading indicator right over here. Notch of flaps out. We're turning on final. Let the nose drop a little bit.
I wasn't as close to the runway as I thought I was. Should have been way closer when I did this. That's why the Pappy lights are not happy with me at all. So I got the airspeed okay, but uh, I gotta shove in some power here to kind of make sure I make it to the runway here. There we go. That's better. Yeah. I was further away than I thought I was. A little deceiving. Now I can feather the power back out. I still got one notch of flaps yet. But the trim is perfect. It's like right at 60 knots, so. But I got way too much power in. And I'm definitely going to have to get rid of it before I put these wheels on the ground. Way. Oh, there's the terminal. Let me go up a little bit. Runway acted like it was going up the hill. That was weird. Also, it sounded it sounded a little odd when I landed. Like I barely heard my my wheels touch, which was kind of weird. Because normally, I could hear uh, hear my wheels touch. Thinking I'm going over there to the left. <laughs> Looks like I got a few things to work on.
Sierra Vista Municipal Libby AAF Information Mike, 1529 Zulu winds are calm. Skies clear. Temperature 10, dew point minus 10. Current altimeter is 3006. Arriving and departing runway 26. Sierra Vista Municipal Libby AAF Information Mike, 1529 Zulu winds are calm. Skies clear. Temperature 10, dew point minus 10. Current altimeter is 3006. Arriving and departing runway 26. Hmm. Oh well. So, I uh, put buttons up. So, I have a few things to work, uh, to work on. And, um, We'll uh, kind of go from there, but uh, all in all, I thought it went uh, it went quite well, and um, I'll uh, I plan on taking off from here in the morning, and uh, 11 o'clock in the morning, and uh, we'll uh, we'll go to uh, to three airports. I'll do a touch and go in the middle, and hopefully by that point in time, I will have figured out all my issues, and um, we'll kind of go from there. But, yeah, I thought it'd be about an hour. That's about what it's been, so not too proud then. Alrighty, let me get the plane shut down here. So, turn off the avionics. Go back on the mixture. And I'll switch it shut off. I need it to off. And... I'll go ahead and uh, whoops. So I'm gonna pop outside. So, uh, because this is a reality expansion pack, let me spin around here. Uh, all these elements are, uh, you, you basically can do a checklist and you can put the, uh, you can put like the chocks on and off, uh, the tie downs, um, the pitot tube cover. Uh, you can do all that stuff in, uh, in VR, so. And uh, when I push down on my um, the the joystick on my touch controller, you can see all all these little uh, these blue circles. So if I go right here, I can go right to that point. So it allows you to like check the lights and that kind of stuff. If I go over here in the uh, back, you know, so you're back where the aileron is. So it is pretty cool, you know that. Uh, and like there should be one right there, yeah. So you're basically looking at the chocks and stuff. So it allows you to uh, to basically do like a walk around, like you would do in a real airplane, uh, but you're doing it in uh, in VR, which which is quite slick. So so we're back in the uh, back in the airplane at uh, Sierra Vista or uh, Fort Huachuca Airport, and uh, I may have parked in the wrong place, but. Uh, I couldn't figure out where I was, so uh, I think I'll call it a day and uh, go work on some of my problems and uh, hopefully be ready for tomorrow to uh, do a little bit better. But as far as the flying went, uh, everything went out went just just great. Uh, and like I said, I kind of like the challenge out here of uh, when I went from Douglas to here, there was a mountain I had to get over and. Um, we're back home. Nah, don't need to worry about that kind of stuff. So, but uh, it all worked out. Uh, let me uh, do pause. Yeah, landing wasn't as good as it should have been. It didn't sound. Um, I didn't hear when my wheels touched. I'm not sure why, but uh, but the flare was good. Yeah, I, I was pretty sure I had a good flare. I was coming in pretty quick. I was. Um, yeah, no worries floated a little bit so but um that's good enough so 
But I do like the fact that in uh, in X-Plane, I, I, uh, this is a lower, a flywood lower script that allows you to uh, to basically um, capture your uh, your landing, you know. So that one isn't good enough for me. Uh, acceptable, yeah. It's not good. I should be able to do better. But uh, time will tell. So anybody who uh, watches this in the future, uh, have a great day. And uh, I will uh, see you tomorrow at uh, 11 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Hmm. Why is that true? It's kind of interesting. I have a... Uh, I have an indicator and my power's all off. Well, that's a little weird. Oh, well. Goodbye.